the image that you're going to be working on. Just go to the File menu and choose Import Image. Pick your file and get started. First of all, all your layers are over here. You can pick up your brush from this tool bin on the left and then go to the right to pick out your color from the color palette. That will make that color. And if I want to make a darker shade of the same, I can drag this down. If I want to make a less saturated version of the same color, I would move in this direction. You also have a choice of what your brush stroke is going to look like and how gloppy it is. So these are my basic settings. 50, 25, 40. And what I like is that this setting lets me keep a lot of texture without getting too much texture. If you add more thinners, then you start losing that texture. If you tap this, you can just type in the number. If you use very little thinner, then it starts getting too many of these reflections. Also, what you see there that it's running out of paint after a while, that is because of the loading. Loading is how much paint is on your brush. If you drag up, you get more paint on your brush. If you drag down, you get less paint on your brush. So you may want just very little paint if you want to paint something that you know is more of a dry brush effect. The palette knife is very nice because you can start scraping these colors around your canvas. You can change the size of your brushes by scrolling down here. But I also use it in conjunction with this, which is a tube of paint. And here, if you put some paint on with your tube, and then go to your palette knife, you can really just swoosh it all around and get nice chunks of paint 